or do you desire it? Sometimes I'll get downloads from God and it will just bear witness with my spirit. Like it's not because I've looked it up or I've heard someone say it before. It's just when it's downloaded into my spirit, I just know uh, for my own personal level of knowing that is truth. Well, I had a download just maybe an hour ago now. I, I, I don't remember exactly what time it was, but I do remember posting on social media. And after I made the post, I was like, wait a minute. I said that, but I've never like looked this up or I've never heard anyone say it. And I'm like, oh my goodness. And so I go and I look it up. <clears throat> And what I stated was many women after uh, a failed relationship or divorce want to be married, um, sometimes out of desperation or they don't want to be married at all. And then there are those who desire to be married. And I stated, and, and I'm kind of doing some wordplay here because I can't remember exactly what I said, but you can go back on my timeline if you're on this particular platform uh, to see what I posted. But I talked about the fact that wanting and desire are two different things. They're two different energies and they yield two different results. I also said that desire comes through healing. Now, mind you, I've gotten the download about want and desire being two different things and it just bared witness to my spirit bared witness to that but i didn't know all the details so i after i realized i'm like oh my goodness like how does want and desire um differ if i had to have a conversation and, and explain this because this was a download so i went and looked up the hebrew words listen the holy spirit is bad okay i went and looked up the hebrew definitions for the words want and the words desire and here's what it said my god want for for the word want in hebrew it said lack deficiency scarcity deprivation need y'all got to hear me do you want it or do you desire it and for the word desire in Hebrew, it said passion, will, wish, favor, goodwill, delight, longing, application. Now, those two words are often used interchangeably, especially about things that we want in our life and in our business. And a lot of times I can tell whether a client who's coming to work with me has accessed the level of desire or they're just in the stage of wanting because wanting comes from a different place wanting comes from a place of lack scarcity something i talk about all the time it's a completely different energy and so oftentimes when people are setting out to achieve certain goals or certain things in their life their business relationships they're coming from the space of want which signifies that you are lacking something which signifies a deficiency which signifies that there's like this need which actually brings about an energy of desperation now i've been talking about all of these things for quite some time but i'm using these two words that came to me in a download about an hour ago to give you a new level of clarity on it you know i talked about how desire comes through healing you know, if you've gone through a failed relationship or divorce, you may be in a phase where you don't want to marry nobody else. <laughs> you ain't sudden get married again, right? Or you may say, you know, I want to be married again. But until that want turns into desire, which has a level of wholeness with it, the energy that by which you go to achieve the thing, the relationship, or even if it's something in your business, it's going to be a different energy. It's going to attract a different type of person. Imagine you want a, an amazing relationship. This is what you say that you want, an amazing marriage. And you come with want energy. What 
type of person do you think you will attract? Will it be a whole person or will that person be lacking in some prominent areas that won't fulfill foundationally what it takes to, you know, have an amazing marriage? But imagine if you're coming from a healed space and now you desire it because you've done your inner work, you've done your healing, you feel whole by yourself, you're not um, needing, remember need was under, as the Hebrew explained the definition of want, it even turned into need. So in desire, you're not coming from a place of need, you've done your inner work, your healing, you're whole on your own, you feel great, you desire it. It's a completely different energy. So I wanted to come on and share this with you all because I want you to think about even your goals in your business, in your life, whatever it is that you're saying you want to achieve in 2024, is it a want or is it a desire? And I believe that this is the, the thin line, the line of demarcation that sets the difference between some of the things that you've been saying that you want for many many years and those things that you desire there's you know oftentimes a level of in, inner work and healing that has to be done to move over to evolve into that space of it being a desire and not a want that's my take on today peace and abundance for those of you you know maybe a life strategy is is what you feel you're needing in this particular season I do offer life strategies for those of you who want to maybe privately work on some inner work or some life strategies that are going to move you from the space of wanting in your life to that space of desire. You know, scripture even tells us that God will give us the desires of our hearts. You guys have a good one. Peace and abundance. Check the comments. I'll leave a link for those of you who possibly like to schedule a VIP. Mm -hmm. I was going to say a VIP day, I offer those too, but a life strategy session, peace and abundance. Do you want it or do you desire it?